black midwife cooking with blueberries and blueberry leaves. So blueberries are just wonderful fruits that grow in the woods and also in or orchards, blueberry orchards in your backyard. You can blow blueberries in a big pot or just get them from the natural environment. But when you get them, uh, you can see there's a green blueberries and there's some uh, purplish blue. So you, they come in different colors. First the green, they don't come in different colors. What I mean is that the green are, are not ripe and you probably could do something with them. I'm not familiar with that is, but for sure the blueberries themselves are high in antioxidants. They help prevent diabetes. They are also known to um, have certain things like vitamin C, uh, tons of minerals in them as well. So everyone's eating blueberries. They're mainly known for, as being an antioxidant, which means that it helps take the stress out of the cells to reduce cancer. Now we have the leaves here. If you can see, I picked the, the whole vine. So it has the blueberry leaves. You can also eat the leaves and the leaves are known for helping with dementia, also high in antioxidants and tons of minerals and vitamins. So the leaves are very good. So you can also drink blueberry leaf tea as well as eat the blueberries separately. So when I talk about black midwives cooking, I'm always looking at what did the African-American midwives of the 20th century do? These are the women who were uh, freed, you know, several years after the Civil War ended and they were freed and they had a lot of traditions and one of those traditions I always mentioned, they were definitely herbologists. They went out into the woods or their yards and they found the foods that could help their families, their pregnant mamas and the, the fathers and the partners and the children to survive. They were the pillar of their community. That means that people looked up to them for accurate information and rituals and traditions. So this tradition today in their honor is to get blueberries and of course you can buy them, that's your only option, but if you can pick them fresh, that's always better. And when you do pick them, grab about four or five leaves, maybe 10 to 15 leaves. You can just uh, boil the water and put the leaf in it and let it sit and just drink it, sip on it, one cup I would say for the day, or you can dry the leaves up and crush them and then also just use a, a teaspoon of the leaves to one cup of water that has been boiled and let it steep. I want to remind us also that with the COVID-19, we need to have antioxidants in our body. We need all the good foods and leaves and roots that we can consume so that our body will not take on the COVID-19. That body immune system, which blueberry leaves and blueberries do, create a strong immune system to stave off any type of infection. And when you're pregnant, or if you have a pregnant client, even all the more, she needs to be de-stressed as much as possible. Besides you physically touching your client, massaging her shoulders, her arms, the back of her neck, please touch your clients, help reduce their stress, and then give them foods that are gonna substantiate, again, protecting their body. These are the things that, what our ancestral midwives did of the past. And we're all about looking at those traditions and re-implementing them, especially in the time now when there's so much negativity. And believe me, during our grand midwives time, our great midwives time, what we see today, they saw tenfold. They saw lynchings, they saw the murder of pregnant black women, unfortunately, the killing of their sons and husbands and brothers. So unfortunately, it should not be happening. But I'm just trying to say that we have gone through this before and we succeeded. We are going to succeed, but they had good food. They got together and they prayed together. They talked together, they supported each other as a community. So we're doing that. I see it happening on the media and in communities where people are coming together, demonstrating together. As they demonstrate, you as the midwife and the doula, you can provide the emotional support. When it's all over, they can come to you for the tea, the massage, the listening ear, the affirmation. Because even behind the soldiers is another group that heals the soldiers. So we're the group behind the soldiers that heal them. When they come off the battlefield, the demonstrations, out of prisons, being locked up, spray in the eye, we are that group. We are the grand midwives. We learn that we're using that legacy of providing healing for them when they get off the front line. So it takes a village. We'll all have our part. If you're not on the front line, you're in the back supporting the front. Uh, through our dollars, our aspirations, uh, giving good food, giving teas, giving solutions. If they're pregnant, we want them to get off the front line and let the men get out there or the unpregnant people get out there. Let the pregnant women and the, and the new moms, breastfeeding moms, they should not be in the front line. They need to be protected and still resting to recuperate so later in time, a few years from now, they can continue on. 
So thank you all for joining Black Me Wise Cooking with Shafi Monroe, Birthing Change, www.shafimo.com. Blessings and peace. Get some blueberries. <laughs>